Hello, my name is Keshwani. K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 92. Please turn to it, page number 92, and today is our lesson number 39. On page 91, we yesterday we did the problems on page number 90, if you recall, and today we are supposed to move on to page 91. There are two problems on page number 91, which they call the practice problem. I'm going to skip those problems because they are too silly. They are they're, they're too silly. So uh, They are asking you what the carpenter is going to use, a, a three foot long piece of plywood, which of the two smaller... You know, what will be the appropriate measuring out section? What would be the appropriate tools for measuring out each section? He apparently wants to cut a three foot long piece into two pieces, 11 inches and 13 inches. And what tool should he use to measure this out? I don't know, use a hammer. It's too silly. Let's move on to number 92. Page number 92. Number one. It says uh, an inch on the map represents 15 miles. All right, let's make a note. So we are on 92, uh, number one. One inch, we are told, represents 15 miles. So the question simply is, six and a half inches would be how many miles? Well, six and a half inches would be 15 times six and a half. That's all. If one inch is equal to 15 miles, if one inch is equal to 15 miles, six and a half inches, six and a half inches would be six and a half times as much. That's all. Six and a half times as much. And how much is 15 times six and a half? Again, how do I know? Let's find out, shall we? 15, so we have six and a half times 15. Not 12, but 15. We can do it right here. 15 times 6. How much is 15 times 6? 15 times 6. How would we? How would you find it? I know 10 times 6. Listen carefully. I know 10 times 6 is 60. And I know 5 times 6 is 30. So you, you divide the... You, you cut down 15 into 10 and a 5. 10 sixes are 60. And 5 sixes are 30. So that's 90. 15 times 6 is 90. 90 plus 15 halves, 15 halves, how much, are, how much are 15 halves, if you had 15 halves, that's same as, that's same as 14 halves plus another half, and 14 halves, of course, if you know that if you have 14 halves, that makes 7 whole, so it's 97 and a half, 97 and a half miles. So the answer is 97 and a half. Six and a half inches on the map actually represents a distance of 97 and a half miles. Let's move on. Practice problem number one. Practice problem number one. Just give me one second. We are told that on a blueprint of a house, every one inch equals one foot. All right. One inch equals one foot. And the question is, what is the question? If a wall for the dining room measures 16 inches long on the blueprint, how long is the actual size? Oh, cry, oh, crying out loud. 16 inches is just 16 times the amount. If 1 inch equals 1 foot, then 16 inches would be 16 feet. If 1 inch is 1 foot, then 16 inches is 16 foot. Number 2.
on the scale model of a solar system, one inch equals 100,000 miles. Oh, there we go. One inch equals 100,000 miles. So apparently we have a scale model of our solar system and that's what the scale is. That one inch represents a distance of 100,000 miles. Which by the way, which by the way, one with five zeros can be written as 10 raised to five miles. I don't know if it will come, come in handy or not, but that's another way of looking at it. What is the question asking? If the actual distance between the sun and the earth is 93 million miles, oh boy, all right. So let's set it up as a proportion problem, shall we? Let's set it up as a proportion problem. It'll be easier. So we have inches and miles. You see, we're dealing with two unlike things. We learned it. We learned it day before yesterday, and and, and then two days before that. The difference between ratio and proportion. And we said that ratios deal with like things. Ratios deal with similar things. Things that can be added or subtracted and proportions deal with unlike things, dissimilar things, things that cannot be added or subtracted. Here we are dealing with proportions, we are dealing with inches and miles. We are told that one inch, we are told that one inch represents 10 to the 5 miles. And the question is, if the actual distance is 93 million miles, if the actual distance is 93 million miles, which can be written as 93, 93, 10 raised to 6. 93 times 10 raised to 6 because 93 million is like this. 93 million is 93 with 6 zeros which is same as 93 times 10 raised to 6. So this is 1 million. 1 million times 93 is 93 million. 10 raised to 6 is 1 million. So this is your 93 million and the question is what goes on the top. Let's find out shall we? We have to cross multiply, and maybe when we cross multiply, we find that x equals to x equals to this amount 93, 93 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 10 raised to 5. Now 10 raised to 6, 10 raised to 6 can be written as so our x is equal to 93 times 10 raised to 6 can be written as 10 raised to 10 times 10 raised to 5. Again, 10 raised to 6. 10 raised to 6 can be written as 10 times 10 raised to 5. I'm going to move this thing so that it doesn't confuse like this. It looks better. So x equals to 93 times 10 raised to 6 over 10 raised to 5. And what we're doing here is we're writing 10 raised to 6 as 10 times 10 raised to 5. And of course, the 10 raised to 5 is going to cancel out, and we are left with 93 times 10. 93 times 10 is 930. 930 what? 930 inches. Oh boy, that's still quite a lot of distance, even though it's a scale model, and the scale is humongous. One inch represents a distance of 100,000 miles. Even on that scale, you will need 93 inches to depict the distance between the sun and the earth, 93 inches. Um, 930 inches, not 93 inches, 930 inches. That's your answer. That's it. I will see you tomorrow where we'll continue with data interpretation on the following page, on page number 93. Okay? Bye now.